Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. This I know is Jesus. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, this is the season for um, greetings and gifts and good times. The way a lot of people like to look at it. A gift. Mm, don't we all like gifts? This Christmas, what a great time. What joy. Christmas can be. This Christmas, if there be someone that ever brought you joy, think of them. Think of them this Christmas. Jesus has brought joy. Let's don't forget him. Jesus has brought joy. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. If there be someone that has brought you Jesus, just think about it in your life that you sit among and you talk with at the table, around the couch or the chairs in your living room or in your car, and they brought you Jesus. They brought you the best gift that any man could bring you. Think about it. So let's don't forget them people. Think of them, for they brought you the best gift you could ever get. Better than any gift wrapped up in pretty boxes, pretty bowls and ribbons. Jesus, the man in this book, if you sit down with anybody and they told you about Jesus, don't forget them this Christmas. Don't forget them, for they brought you the best gift that you could get. Give and it shall be given. Yes. Jesus is the best gift you could give to anyone. Jesus. So my friend that's out there, I give you Jesus. Silver and gold, I have none. My pocket might not be full of money, but my book here is full of Jesus and full of joy. I give you Jesus this Christmas. Jesus, oh Lord God, good tidings of comfort and joy. Joy comes in the morning. Sometimes we all get sad times. But we know there's joy always ahead because God is the head. Yes, He is. God is the head. Comfort. We all need comfort. So, but, but now this saith the Lord that created thee. O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. This Christmas, let Jesus call you by his name, by your name. Let him call you by your name. And he says, thou art mine. Mm. I want to be his. You need to be his this Christmas. When thou passeth through the waters, I will be with you. I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall thy flame kindle upon thee. Waters. Used to be a song that the church used to sing. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get a home. And all my troubles gonna be over when I get home. Rivers. Uh -huh. He walks through with you through the wit rivers. Used to be a song out. One more river to cross, 
One more mountain to climb. Oh, oh just hang on. Just one more fire. After waters and rivers, there's fire. It seems like it gets worse. But there was three men that was in the fire. Oh, glory to God. What was their name? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, they did not get burned. So he was with them. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for the ransom, Ethiopia and Sebra for thee, since thou was precious in my sight. Be precious in the Lord's sight. He's a good God. Thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. If you want somebody to love you, you cannot buy love. Oh, my, my. You might have all the money in the world, but it cannot buy love. Oh, Lord. But Jesus... Just come as you are. Lord God, we need Jesus. We have love that money cannot buy. Thee, therefore, will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Oh, Lord Jesus. If you're in love with him, he's going to talk to men for you. He's going to speak to somebody's heart. He says, I give men for thee. And people for thy life. Like I said, if you had somebody in your life that gave you Jesus, He gave them to you. Oh Lord, don't turn away from God. God cares when I'm hurting. Now, these verses that I just read from you was in Isaiah 43. You can look it up for yourself. Comfort. Comfort. Trish is going to go ahead and read. God cares when I'm hurting. He cares. If you're hurting this Christmas, He can speak to somebody to kind of ease the pain. And if the person doesn't listen to His voice, He'll just come down and just sit with you Himself. Oh, glory to God. I give you Jesus. Okay, Psalms 34, 17 through 19. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them all from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. God has not forgotten me. Isaiah 49, 14, and 15. But said the Lord, for the Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. Like See, I have engraved you upon the palms of my hands. He's engraved us on the palms of his hands. And your walls are ever before me. Oh, yes. yes. I like that. The Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Hmm. Can a mother forget the baby? Oh, you might ask, there is some mother forget. But it goes on to say, Though she may forget, I will not forget you. People forget you. This Christmas, you might be forgotten about, and people might not give to you. But God won't forget you. Oh, glory to God. He won't forget you. I'm glad that I have a master of above that will not forget me. Because long lost friends will forget you. They won't give this Christmas to you. But don't worry about it. I give you Jesus. Rejoice and be happy. Oh, and we're engraved in the palm of His hand. Oh, glory to God. If in anybody gives you anything out of the palm of their hands, it's wonderful. But God has engraved us in the palm of His 
hands. All good and perfect gifts comes from above. And sometimes He uses people. But if they will not hear, He's there and you're going to fill Him and He's going to be there and He's the greatest gift you can have. Let's go ahead and read. This is Christmas. I love it. God is with us. Okay. Uh, for everything I go through, we're still in Isaiah, I, for verse 15. For everything I go through, there is a purpose. God is a redeemer. He can bring good out of anything if I commit to him. Okay. In Deuteronomy 8, 2 and 3. Remember how the Lord your God led you all the way in the desert these 40 years to humble you and test you in order to know what your what was in your heart whether it would that you would keep his commands he would humble you cause you to hunger and feed you with manna which neither your fathers had known to teach you what man uh to teach you that man does not live by bread alone but on every word that comes out of the mouth of god god i think it was my son i told if I have a pair of socks and a package of hamburger meat, yes. I'm blessed. <laughs> you don't have to give me much, as long as I'm taken care of. Yes. And I expect my gifts to come from Him, because yes. I cannot depend upon man. No, no. Friends will, Friends will forsake you, because they're not always there for you. Their feelings get hurt. They turn their back on you. Whatever. God has not forgotten me. Lord, good tidings of great joy I bring to you this Christmas. And Luke 2, 10 through 14. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people. I need good tidings and I need joy. Oh, I need joy. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Oh, Lord God, I need a Savior. Someone to save, save me from this wicked world. Which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God. And send glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Now that's joy. When you have a little baby wrapped up in swaddling clothing, lying in a manger, <laughs> well, glory. He didn't have much. He was just in a, I think he was in a stable barn. But he brought joy to the world. This man that didn't have much on earth brought so much. He is a Savior. He brought saving grace to us all. This man that didn't have much has so much to give. He brought joy to you. So when you're feeling down this Christmas, oh, nobody gives you nothing. I'm telling you, Jesus for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus said, Greater love than this, than no man, than a man lay down his life for his friend. Jesus was born, and for this day, and on um, this month that we're celebrating Christmas in, it's all about Jesus. People get wrapped up in so many other things. But I give you Jesus. I give you Jesus. I give you Jesus. And if someone gives you Jesus, don't forget them. Don't forget them. Don't forget God. 
for he gave you Jesus. Don't forget God because he came down in the person of Jesus. Don't forget God that he came a man and laying in a manger. Oh, known as the Son of God, but was Emmanuel, God with us. Don't forget Jesus this Christmas. Joy, 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 joy to the world. Okay, this is Jesus speaking in John chapter 16, verse 23 and 24. In that day you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, Jesus, he will give it. Hitherto, which means up until now, have ye asked nothing in my name? Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. John chapter 17, verse 13. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. So I'm going to ask, like this scripture said, before we, before Jesus came to earth, we asked nothing in his name. So Lord, I need a gift this year. And I'm asking in the name of Jesus that I get a gift. Oh, and most of all, I know the gift must be Jesus. I need a gift. Speak to somebody's heart that loves to give. And speak to someone's heart that gives Jesus. Let them give the best gift they can give. I give you Jesus. Give me God in Christ. Give me God in Christ. Acts 13, 49 through 52. And the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution. Dust of their feet against them and came unto Iconium. Iconium and the disciples were filled with joy of the Holy Ghost. Oh, you might say, where is Jesus? Where is this Jesus that you're going to give me? Open your heart up. Open your heart up. Jesus is all around. Holy Ghost joy. He, you can feel Him if you open your heart up, open your mind up, and say, Lord, what can I give this Christmas? Lord, listen to the Holy Ghost. Open your heart up. Listen to the Holy Ghost. Oh, and Jesus. The Holy Ghost always speaks of Him. He will speak of Jesus. So give somebody Jesus. Romans 15 and 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy. I want you to have all joy. And peace. In believing that ye may abound in hope. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. You're not hopeless this Christmas. Power of the Holy Ghost can be all around you. And you bet if you feel the power of a ghost, and it's the Holy Ghost, it will be Jesus. I will not leave you comfortless, he said. I will come unto you. So the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of Jesus. Great God that stepped out of heaven in a manger one day, Emmanuel, named Jesus. Go ahead and read. Okay, Psalms 30, verse 5. For his anger endureth for a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I want to say one thing before you finish. There's a lot of needy people out there. If you can remember somebody in need this Christmas... Remember, there's a lot of hungry people out there. And just remember that they're less fortunate than you. And I, I pray that the Lord lay them upon your heart and help somebody. Yes. 
Help someone. Be good to someone. Think about someone. Think of someone that gave you joy. Think of someone that gave you Jesus. Think of God. Just remember this is Christmas. A time of giving. But all in the name of Jesus. Jesus gives to you. And he has gave to you. Blessed be his holy name. He gave you the bread of life. Peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May God be with you this Christmas. And may joy come unto you by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen.